We are living in a world where humans rely on inanimate objects. A combination of metal, rubber parts, and fuel can help you get from one place to a distant place without breaking a sweat. Pieces of plastic and metal put together the right way can make you communicate with someone who's miles away from you. And most importantly, information and data can now be stored and retrieved later on. And the world is in need of people who understand how this information and technology works. So what exactly is information technology? First and foremost, it must be understood that this is a very broad topic. But information technology is the use of computer systems, storages, networks and tangible devices, technological infrastructure, systems and processes to create, modify, transfer, store, multiply, and exchange all forms of electronic data. So what exactly is data? Data is every type of information from facts, statistics, numerical sequences, and patterns, which is analyzed, studied, compared, modified, stored, and overall used as a component in the overall information that the technology user needs. The value of information technology is that although people are capable of handling data using our brains, and even the old paper and pen processes, these processes are not as reliable, efficient, and effective as relying on information technology. A computer can process millions of pieces of data at a given time. Its storage or memory can hold and secure information Information without forgetting a single piece of data. So where is information technology applicable? From the general information above, information technology plays a significant role in business. Some examples of this would be customer handling, all the way from handling customer service, personal day-to-day -day communication, storing financial records, and all other human activities that deal with handling electronic data. Information technology is essential to the day-to-day -day operations of a business, and even more important when it comes to scaling your business to make more money. And this is why learning the skills of information technology is incredibly valuable whether you want to get a job or start your own business. Next, let's talk about hardware versus software. Before we can discuss examples of information technology, it's important that we talk about hardware and software. Hardware is tangible technology that you can actually touch when it comes to dealing with information technology, from personal computers, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, and everything else that is physical and is used for the purposes of IT. Software, on the other hand, is intangible, AKA you can't touch it. So this would be things such as websites, computer programs, or systems and applications. And it's going to be broadly separated into two different groups, which is software systems and applications. Software systems are basic programs that are tasked to perform computer functions at its most basic level. An example of this would be an operating system for a phone, such as iOS or Android. Applications, on the other hand, also have a lot of examples, such as databases, email servers, transaction processing systems, process control systems, enterprise collaboration systems, and many more. Some examples of this would be Slack, Dropbox, HubSpot, Google Drive, and Microsoft Office. Next, let's talk about information technology as a career path. Information technology is very broad, but it is a great career path. If you are able to learn the skills of information technology with the constant rise of technology in this modernized world, it is safe to say that you will almost definitely have a job. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for computer and information technology occupations is $97,000. That's over twice the median annual wage for all other applications, which is $45,000. And according to Glassdoor.com, an entry-level position as an IT help desk technician makes over $50,000 dollars a year. So not only does information technology offer you a good salary, but being in IT keeps you updated with the latest in technology innovation. A few examples of fields related to information technology are IT management, computer systems analyst, web development, cybersecurity, cloud administration, and database administration. If you want to learn a way to get into information technology in a few months, click the free training, which I will put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. This free training is offered by a company called Course Careers, which I've mentioned before, which routinely gets people jobs in as little as two weeks, and oftentimes in a few months. For instance, check out an interview I did with Della, where she was able to get a job at her dream company, making over $100,000 a year, in a month and a half. And she was able to do this with zero experience beforehand in the career field.